Hey guys, just a real quick video to address a video that HDTV test put out just the other day, taking issue with my best settings video for this Sony 900H, also called the 90H. And because many of you have been commenting and asking me, hey, what do you think about his results? So in a nutshell, he takes issue with the fact that I suggest you use local dimming on high versus medium, which he calls the correct setting. And I said this in my best settings video where I showed you the effect of virtually every setting for the TV. It's going to depend on your exact situation, what settings you're going to land on for your best settings. These are mine. These are my opinion because of how I watch it. Now, I don't have a completely blacked out theater. This is my living room. I do light control it. It does get very dark, but not pitch black unless it's at night and I have no lights on in the house. So black levels are very important to me. Now I'm gonna show you the effect here. Cooper, no bark. He loves his ball. Go on, go play. So the bottom line is we're both right, except there is no correct setting. Correct would mean this is the way it's supposed to be. And neither high or medium is that way. I said it in the beginning of my best settings video. If you want an OLED TV, if you really want perfect results, buy an OLED TV, because this ain't it. No TV besides an OLED gives you that level of performance. Both settings have pros and cons. So let's go through an example here that he showed and is a very good example of what he was trying to convey. And I'm gonna show you why you still may not want to use medium and stick with high. Like I said, it's gonna depend on how you use this TV. All right, same scene that they used to demonstrate this issue. And this is out of Wonder Woman. Now, the issue is on auto local dimming high, there is slightly clipped highlights at the very extremes. And this is a very easy scene to see the difference in if you look at the actual lightning bolts. On high, they are pure white, all right? The center core is just pure white, completely blown out and clipped. On medium, you can see that all of a sudden you see the individual little strands running through the core. So there is certainly in the extreme bright parts of the screen, some blowing out and some clipping. And it's kind of like the light is just spreading from the extremely hot parts, slightly wider down into the not so extremely white parts. And that's the effect. And if that's all you're looking for, absolutely keep it on medium because you do get back that slight detail just before the absolute clipping levels. However, there is another big change that going between high and medium does, and it may be very important to you as it is to me, and that is the absolute black level. Unfortunately, the local dimming is the only setting that controls this and it affects both the extreme blacks and highlights at the same time. If like me, you watch a lot of movie content and you've got a lot of black bars showing, high is going to be your friend because on high, these black bars are very inky black. They're still not OLED, but at normal viewing distances, especially in a darkened room, these are beautifully black. I have no problem with them. However, on medium, that's gone. They are dark gray at the most, and it's not even a dark, dark gray. You, you do preserve the extreme highlights, but you give up your extreme blacks, and that is not worth it to me. There's very little change in the scenes as far as the black levels. Using my settings, it's still very good in the actual content, but the black bars is a dramatic difference. I can't stand looking at them on medium because you see them. Let me show you a little close up here and I'll show you a better example. So here, just looking at the top left corner, I'm very close to the TV so you can easily see it. The black bar is the top half of the frame here and you can see that it's dark. I mean, there's not a big deal with it, but do you see the frame of the TV? This is exactly what I see right now with my naked eye. This is what I see from my viewing position and we're in a darkened room. You can see the wall behind the TV there. That's how dark my room is now. Alexa, turn on the living room lights. And this is lit. Alexa, turn off the living room lights. 
So you can see what kind of controlled environment I watch in. Now we go to high. Boom, that's black. That is a dramatic difference for the black bars and look how it matches the frame. You can no longer see the frame watching something to your naked eye. This is exactly what I'm looking at. Medium, high. So again, it's up to you. How do you use your TV? If you watch in a bright environment, keep it on medium. You're never gonna notice a difference because in a lit room or in a room without curtains and light control, you're never gonna get this black. It doesn't matter to you. So go ahead and yeah, get the slightly better highlight clips. But in a darkened environment, if you're not watching 16 by nine all the time, I mean, if, if you're watching TV, old Hulu and streaming crap, and it's taking up the whole screen, you're never gonna notice. So yeah, keep it on medium. If you're like me though, you like movies in a darker environment, you're gonna love high. And that's exactly why right there. Crap, black, medium, high. So make your own choice. I stand by my settings as the best settings for my environment. And there is no correct. See you next time.